Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is uh, white coat hypertension. You know, the term white coat uh, comes from the reference to the white coats traditionally, uh, which are worn by the doctors, you know. And the white coat effect means that your blood pressure is higher when it is taken in a medical setting uh, than it is uh, when taken at home you know and uh, on average uh, when your blood pressure is taken at home uh, the top which is known as systolic uh, can be around 10 mg lower than it should be if taken at the doctor and the 5 mg lower the bottom one is diastolic you know, you know so for some people uh, this difference can be uh, even great you know more than this and uh, the next thing is what causes uh, the white coat hypertension or white coat uh, affect you know now your blood pressure is not fixed it rises and falls throughout the day in response to what you are doing and what is happening around you so the white coat effects will often happen because you are nervous about having your blood pressure tested by a doctor or a nurse you know and the most of us uh, tend to feel more tense in the medical settings than we do at home you know although we do not always uh, notice it you know and the white coat effect uh, can influence some people's blood pressure more than others so it varies person to person you know and if you are very anxious your systolic uh, blood pressure which is the upper number you know can rise by as much as 30 mmhg and this uh, can make it more difficult for your doctor to get an accurate measurement of your blood pressure you know as i told earlier the term white coat may be used if uh, you have the high blood pressure readings only when you are in a hospital or in doctor's surgery you know and your blood pressure readings may be normal when they are taken at home so sometimes it can be difficult to establish whether you actually have high blood pressure or just experience white coat hypertension and uh, uh, anyone can be affected by the white coat uh, hypertension you know uh, in fact the white coat effect you know but but the white coat hypertension is less common and you may be nervous or anxious about having your blood pressure taken without, without you or your doctor realizing it you know and the only way to be sure is to compare the readings taken in the clinic with the readings that are taken at home so there are two ways of doing this number one measuring your blood pressure at home and uh, the number two is a 24 hour blood pressure monitoring okay so uh, in that case the monitor will be attached to your body so which will uh, record your blood pressure around the clock you know and then you will uh, return that device to the hospital and where it will be studied you know so it will be decoded there you know and uh, uh, if you are experiencing white coat hype uh, effect, you know, uh, when having your blood pressure measured, it is important to try and manage your anxiety if you can, you know. And this might just mean resting for a while before having your blood pressure measured, you know. And um, if you have had to rush to your appointment or feeling nervous, you know, taking a moment to relax and calm down, it can help to bring your blood pressure back down to the normal, you know. So these are the few things that you can do. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you know more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos every day. Keep watching. Goodbye.